With one week of spring practice remaining and the maroon and white spring game on the horizon, the focus in practice has shifted from the young up-and-comers to the veterans and leaders on the team. Going into the 2013 season, the Bulldogs were tasked with replacing several key positions. After losing all three starting receivers, both starting cornerbacks, and multiple other players, the team had to force some new leaders into those roles. After a complete season of filling those positions, the Bulldogs enter into 2014 with an established group of veterans. The Bulldogs will return 18 starters to the field this year after losing only six from the 2013 season. Cal State Beats' Bob Carskadden has more on some of the leaders for Dan Mellon's team. It almost all starts with Dak Prescott. He is the starting quarterback for Mississippi State. Came on last year in place of the injured Tyler Russell. Finished out the season with three straight wins, two of which he was responsible for, obviously. Rice in the Liberty Bowl and Ole Miss in Starkville for the Egg Bowl. He is the unquestioned leader of the team. People say he has charisma, that he is a player who people are naturally drawn to. He's the guy for Mississippi State. That's where it starts. Elsewhere, plenty of leaders on both sides of the ball. On offense, the left tackle and the center both return from Mississippi State. Blaine Clausell at left tackle and Dylan Day at center. Two of the most important positions on the line. Good to have the veteran experience there and people that John Hevesy knows he can rely on seniors who have been in the program and starting for a very long time. In the receiving court, Jamion Lewis at slot and Malcolm Johnson at the hybrid of tight end and receiver are two of the players who everyone looks to for leadership and for guidance whenever anything is happening. They're also two of the Bulldogs' biggest playmakers, which is no coincidence. Defensively, the Bulldogs have veterans and leaders at just about every position on the field. Defensive line, linebacker, cornerback, and safety. Starting up front, P.J. Jones and Caleb Ewells, two of the vested seniors for the Bulldogs are the guys. And actually talking to P.J. Jones, he said it's true junior defensive end Ryan Brown who has stepped up as one of the big leaders for the Bulldogs. His coaches have praised his work ethic and what he's able to do on the field. At linebacker, obviously, Bernard McKinney is the guy, the quarterback of the defense. MSU's All-American could be a first-round draft pick after the 2014 season entering the 2015 draft. In the secondary, it's Tevez Calhoun who stepped up last year. A very vocal guy, he's a good leader, a great player, and an asset to the Shea Townsend's group. And of course, Jay Hughes is out this spring. He's played here and there, but mostly he's been recovering as he gets ready for the 2014 season. The senior safety is a coach on the field, the son of Tony Hughes, actually, Mississippi State's safety coach, and is one of the most important players Mississippi State has. Spring practice will end this week and conclude with the maroon and white spring game in Davis Wade Stadium as part of Super Bulldog Weekend on Saturday at noon. Admission is free for all. For more information, visit www.hailstate.com slash SBW. For Hale State TV, I'm Abigail Strickland.